Let me just start off by saying I wish I knew about this mouse very long time ago. If you're looking to boost your productivity, then this Logitech MX3 Master Mouse can be a very good choice for you. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're looking to boost productivity, then this Logitech MX3 Master Mouse can be a very good choice for you. In this video, I'm gonna review the Logitech MX Master 3 and I'll cover the good, the bad, so that you could decide if this mouse is a good choice for you. A few weeks ago, I switched over to this mouse and before it, I was using the Logitech's G502 gaming mouse. And I was using it for editing videos and let's just say I wasn't being too productive with that. I wanted to get a mouse that could make my life a lot easier when editing videos and help me with my daily productivity. Also, I was looking for something that could work with multiple devices. So I purchased the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse and let's just say I wish I had gotten it a very long time ago because this mouse is an absolute productivity beast. Also, I got the Logitech MX Keys mini keyboard to go along with this mouse. And together, the combo has been working great for me. Using both, I now have the ability to control multiple devices with the switch of a button. It's very easy to pair this mouse with multiple devices, including iPad and tablet. Also, when using Logitech's Flow software, I can seamlessly switch between Mac and Windows with ease. I can even copy and paste and even send files with this. More on Logitech's Flow technology later. But first, let's unbox this mouse. This mouse is available in graphite and mid-gray. I got the mid-gray color because I thought it would go better with my MacBook Pro. And it does. Logitech also sells the MX Master 3 for Mac, but I just personally did not fancy that color scheme. The overall boxing is quite minimalistic. You get the mouse, the 2.4 GHz universal receiver in case you don't want to use the Bluetooth, and a little box which contains a USB-A to USB-C cable, including some instructions. On the bottom of the mouse, there's a sticker giving you some basic instructions on how to set up this mouse. And as mentioned, it shows that you can use your mouse with the Bluetooth or the universal Universal receiver. In my case, I'll be using the Bluetooth as I plan on using multiple devices. Much of the mouse is made using plastic. The bottom part uses hard plastic and feels very strong and rigid, whereas the top feels soft and more grippy. The top also offers more comfort when holding it. The mouse has a total of seven buttons, most of which are programmable. This gives users more control over the functionality of the mouse. This mouse mostly feels premium. The feel and grip are quite nice, and coming from a gaming mouse, the hump feels a little awkward at first, but with time, I would get used to it. The metal scroll wheel is nice and premium, but the two forwards and backwards button are not. It feels as if they're built from cheap or rubbery plastic, but overall it's a decent mouse for the price and it should last a couple of years. The mouse also features max speed, which you can use for scrolling thousands of lines. This really comes in handy for me when I'm scrolling through thousands of lines of code. Using the Logitech Option software, you can customize the MX Master 3 for your specific workflow. You can even customize the buttons you want for the different apps that you use. So far, I've been using it out of the box without much customization. But several apps like Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, PowerPoint have predefined customizations. I mainly use it for DaVinci Resolve and editing videos and I also use it for browsing the web. This mouse is all about saving a few seconds here and there, which then adds up to a lot of time saved in general. I do really enjoy using the scroll wheel a lot. I can quickly switch between tabs in Chrome and when editing videos, I can quickly navigate the timeline. Before I had to use the scroll bar, which would take an extra second. But let's just say I did this action 10,000 times per week. Using this mouse, I would save around 3 hours of clicking per week, which then adds up to a lot of time saved in general. Overall, this mouse feels like an Apple product. It's so well integrated with the Mac OS. Function-wise, this MX Master 3 has done everything I wanted it to do. I use it with both MacBook Pro and my Windows PC, and it works well with both systems. I did not have any trouble pairing them. The quick switch option allows you to easily switch up to three devices. This includes using an iPad or a tablet as well. To switch, you simply need to click the button on the mouse and make sure it's on the correct device. For example, my number one is MacBook Pro, my number two is Windows PC, and my number three is my work laptop. Logitech also offers another option for hybrid use between a Mac and a PC. This is called the Logitech Flow. This works in a way by installing Logitech software on both systems. I can then easily take my mouse from Mac to Windows, 
and back to Mac without any problems. Not only I can control both systems, but using Logitech Flow, I can even copy and paste files from Mac to PC and vice versa. By the way, this Flow feature works between any two systems that they can both be Macs or both PCs. Although I'm using my mouse via Bluetooth, latency for me is a non-issue. I did not notice any issues with connectivity or the mouse lagging. For users who are experiencing such lags can use the provided receiver which is 2.4 GHz and use the mouse that way. However, when it comes to playing games, I don't think this is the right mouse as the DPI maxes out at 4000. By the way, DPI stands for dots per inch. Basically, it's for adjusting the pointer speed. The higher the DPI, the faster the cursor moves. This means you'll have to move your hands less to move your cursor across the screen. For gaming, I still use my Logitech G502 as it has much higher DPI at 25000. But I usually stick between 10 and 12000 for gaming. Coming from a gaming mouse, I noticed that this mouse lacks the ability to quickly change the DPI on the fly. If you want to change the DPI, you need to open up the Logitech software and adjust it there. For me, changing the DPI sometimes gets tedious as when I'm making thumbnails for YouTube videos, I need to slow down the mouse pointer speed so that I can do some precision work. And when editing videos or doing general tasks, I like to keep my DPI higher so I can move my mouse quickly and get things done faster. It's not really a deal breaker, but having a dedicated button should have been nice and Logitech should have added that. Also, one thing I noticed is that when I'm using this mouse with my desktop PC, it would not go to sleep. I either need to switch the mouse over to a different device or turn off the mouse, which is fine, but like 99% of the time, I forget to do that, which leaves my PC running overnight. So if you're having this issue or if you have a solution, let me know in the comments below. Logitech claims that this MX3 Master Mouse has 70 days of battery life. I charge my mouse to 100% when I unboxed it and I've been using it since. And it's been about three weeks without having to recharge it. So I've yet to run out of battery. And for charging the mouse, they provide you with a USB-C cable. The Logitech MX3 Master is one of those products that are highly practical and makes it almost difficult to find a fault. It works as advertised and offers great battery life and the build quality ensures that the product can last for a long time. The only con is that it's $99 and it's a pricey option. Overall, this is one of the best wireless mice that you can buy right now. And so far, it's been a very good experience using it apart from the DPI hiccup. But overall, I really enjoy using the mouse. Well, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do remember to hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And do remember to hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed watching this video. Until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next one.